Before we explore TDP multi time frame pivot, let's take a look at the basics of a pivot point indicator and its functionality. A normal pivot point indicator displays multiple resistance and support levels, which vary depending on the calculation method used. In this video, we will focus only on the traditional method. How pivot points are calculated. Pivot points are calculated by using the previous day's high, low, and close prices. The most widely used formula to calculate pivot points is the traditional method, which calculates the pivot point as the average of the previous day's high, low, and close. Pivot points can be calculated for different time frames such as daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Traders often use multiple time frames to identify significant support and resistance levels across various periods. One of the objectives we aim to achieve using TDP Multi Time Frame Pivot Indicator is to visualize support and resistance levels across different time frames in the same chart. What are the levels and pivot point indicators? Pivot point indicators consist of pivot, resistance, and support levels. Additionally, there are CPR levels, which we will discuss in another video. The pivot point is a crucial level where the market sentiment can shift from bullish to bearish or the other way round. Traders commonly use this level as a reference point to determine the overall market bias. Below the pivot point are support levels, labeled as S1, S2, S3, etc. These levels are potential areas where buying interest may emerge, causing the price to rebound. Above the pivot point are resistance levels, labeled as R1, R2, and R3. These levels are potential areas where selling pressure may increase, causing the price to reverse downwards. Traders often use pivot points in their trading strategies. One popular approach is to buy when the price is near support levels, and sell when it is close to resistance levels. Another strategy involves using pivot points in combination with other technical indicators to confirm trading signals. Let's explore the standard pivot point indicator that's available in TradingView. When you access the pivot indicator settings, you'll see the input and style section. This is where you should focus your attention to select the settings that suit your trading style. Note, when you keep the pivot time frame in auto mode, the levels will appear based on the selected time frame of your chart. For instance, if your chart time frame is 15 minutes or less, daily levels will show up in the chart. If it's above 15 minutes, you'll start seeing weekly levels. And if you select one day as the chart time frame, you'll see monthly levels. To summarize, the time frame you choose will determine the type of point levels that appear in your charts, such as daily, weekly, monthly, etc. In order to view daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly levels on the same chart, you will need to use separate four pivot point indicators. Let me show you how to do this. First, add the four pivot point indicators and access their settings. Then, set one indicator to daily, one to weekly, and the remaining two to monthly and yearly time frames respectively. Once you have done this, the chart will display all four time frame levels. The chart is quite cluttered, which is why we opted to create our own pivot indicator. A clean chart is crucial to properly observe the price action, and having too many points can lead to confusion. We should only concentrate on immediate levels that are likely to be touched on an intraday basis. Let's explore how TDP Pivot Indicator solves the problem while keeping the data points intact. TDP Pivot displays four resistance levels above and four support below current price levels. Old levels are deleted and new ones are added as the price moves. Pivot Points levels are not included in these eight levels here. First, let's open the settings of the TDP Pivot indicator. The input section of TDP Pivot looks different from normal pivot indicators. We will go through each in detail. Number of Previous Points this setting shows previous levels lines and points made by the indicator. For example, you can see monthly, weekly, and daily pivot lines because of this setting. By changing the value, you can choose the number of days you want to see. For instance, in a 5-minute chart time frame. If you reduce it to 75, you will only see a 1-day line. 
If you increase it to 150, a two-day line will be visible. Similarly, 300 will make a four-day line visible. You can select the value according to your requirements. If you choose a one-minute chart time and put 375 here, you will only see a one-day line. Increase it to see more pass points. Range setting or table color. Note, the daily P column is not colored here. This table has 44 points levels. Of these, four are pivot points for daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly time frames. The remaining 20 points are resistance levels, and the other 20 are support levels. For intraday trading, we focus on the daily P column. However, we cannot ignore the other time frames. To ensure we see every pivot, resistance, and support point within a range of 2% up or 2% down on a trendy day, we use the range color setting. This setting shows all levels that fall within the range of plus 2% and minus 2% in blue color. If we reduce the range to 1%, only the levels that fall within this range will be colored. Note, we exclude the daily P points from this color range as most of the time, they already fall within the plus 2% minus 2% range. Coloring them too would make the entire column blue. Previous day color and intraday line setting. If you want to view the previous day's high, low, open, and close points, you can use the previous day color and intraday line setting. You can also choose your preferred colors. If you want to see the previous day's levels for all past days, go to the Style section and select Previous Day's Levels. This will enable you to see all the past points. You can use the number of previous points setting to increase or reduce the past points levels. Line Levels The line level setting is used for setting all pivots, resistance, and support levels of all time frames. This setting allows you to see the 8 most important levels out of the 40 resistance and support levels. You can reduce or increase the levels as per your preferences. Maximum 8 levels at a time can be seen excluding pivot point levels. We could have added all the 44 levels here, but we have kept it at 8 to keep the chart clean. Previous points. This settings allows you to view the points that were active on previous days. These points are not continuous due to fluctuations in market prices. Only 8 points or levels will be displayed, with 4 above and 4 below the current price level. Those not in the range will be deleted. Table Location and Size Let's take a look at the table before setting it up. This table displays all the pivots, resistance, and support levels for different time frames. The daily P column shows daily pivots, resistance, and support levels, while the weekly P column shows weekly pivots, resistance, and support levels. The same applies to the monthly and yearly columns. The red colored points or levels represent resistance levels for the current price, while green colored points or levels represent support levels for the current price. Yellow colored points or levels indicate immediate resistance or support levels for the current price, which are just above or below the current price level. Blue colored points or levels are within the percentage range you have set. In the last row, you can see the current price with its immediate support and resistance levels. The long and short points show the difference between the current price and the next resistance and support levels. Please note that these data are used to see how far the next levels are and not for trade signals. Now, let's go back to table settings. You can choose the location where you want to place your table in the chart. The size can also be adjusted to your preference here. You can choose the table cell border color that you like. I prefer to keep it black. Let's move on to the style section. If you want to show or hide the previous day's points and levels, use this section. To hide labels in the charts, uncheck the labels option. To hide intraday lines and charts, uncheck the lines option. And if you want to hide tables and charts, uncheck the tables option. Please avoid the visibility section since it is not useful for these indicator settings. So that's it. That's what the TDP multi time frame pivot setting looks like and how it works. Please subscribe.
like and press the bell icon if you found the video informative.